at the capstone as we were planning, it was going to be this end project for the students where they really get to showcase what they've done, what they've learned in SUTD and in particular in an interdisciplinary manner, con connecting all the different disciplines, all the pillars in SUTD in a design-centric showcase, really showcase what they can do. The collaboration with the industry went quite well. Uh, all the teams had close uh, relationships with the, with the company, with their industry mentors as well as being guided by their uh, faculty advisors in the Tapstone rooms. Our project is about the optimization of the last mile delivery system in FedEx and we are helping the FedEx to actually uh, improve the efficiency of their careers in terms of minimizing traveling distance and traveling time. I'm very glad with uh, the achievement that they have uh, accomplished so far. It was really actually ex exceeding our expectations and I'm really looking forward to work with the Capstone program for the next coming year. I'm part of a team that is working in collaboration with Becton Dickinson, which is a pharmaceutical company specializing in producing pre fillable um, drug delivery systems. So, in particular, for our project, we're actually working on trying to achieve an overall cost reduction in terms of the packaging design for this particular product. And the motivation behind this was because this product is actually used by poor um, developing nations. So, in order to sort of reduce cost on their side, uh, we actually have to try and reduce costs on our, on our own side first. We are working on the design of DPS Bank Space in school, in SUTD, East Coast Campus. So our design comes from one continuous surface that actually moulds the different functions together, that binds them together, that can be few different spatial quality, which can be floor or ceiling, or it can also transform to a staircase that can become a sitting gallery. Our project is actually working with CGH to develop an automated pharmacy. So uh, many hospitals in Singapore are currently um, transitioning to an automated pharmacy to reduce the amount of human error, as well as to better utilise um, pharmacies for other staff. I'm very happy with them. I mean, this is the first capstone project, so it's the first time I've interacted with students as well. I can tell you that I gave them very difficult tasks. All of the projects that I got them to work on have never really been done before, and I told them that. I said, this is groundbreaking things. You can't really go and look at anybody else to do it. You've got to figure out solutions to problems. And what's been really good is I had some ideas about how to make the designs and the prototypes, but there was a lot of knowledge gaps. And that's where these guys as a group came in together very well and came up with solutions to problems that I couldn't even figure out. Today, they're a very exciting project and I'm very satisfied with the outcomes. And I'm sure that uh, students, when they leave uh, university, uh, they will work uh, under these uh, circumstances. So this is a very good uh, experience for them to have uh, before they graduate and uh, join the society. We actually managed to apply a lot of the things we have learned over the, over the course of our entire education. Um, not only in terms of technical skills, but also in terms of design concepts as well. And this has proved to be a very fulfilling um, experience. From what I understand from other schools, the FYPs generally do not include industry partners or is usually a self-proposed project. So being put in touch with CGH for industry projects such as this actually introduces a lot of real-life problems and we are producing real-life solutions for them. In fact, CGH has considered taking into account our solutions and has, in, has already put into place implementing a few of them right now. And this is going to be a very signature program for the spirit of SUTD which builds on multidisciplinary collaboration.